Okay. Oh, good good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Laqueen Battle. I apologize. I am a little bit behind, but I want to go ahead and thank you guys for being with me today on this brief explanation about uh, the 22, 2021 Boston Marathon uh, that happened in uh, this past Monday, October the 11th, 2021. So again, I'm very, very happy for, to have you guys here with me. Um, if you could just join me here on my uh, <clears throat> my uh, Facebook page, Battle First Aid Responder Services, I'm going to go ahead and go over uh, some brief uh, things as well as uh, pretty much uh, the uh, course layout for the event. Uh, today is it's going to be a really brief, brief explanation on uh, the marathon as well as um, some other issues that I um, experienced here. Um, again, if you can pretty much follow all of my other events that I do have going on currently with Battle First Aid Responder Services, and this is a corporation I am available in multiple states and multiple cities too for assistance as needed. Um, I, if you want to go ahead and follow all my future events, you will go to my Facebook page as well as I am on Eventbrite. You will go to www.eventbrite.com and you can also follow me on Eventbrite too as well. And Eventbrite, you can type in my name, Laqueen Battle, or you can just pretty much go up to search events and then you will just type in Battle First Aid uh, right here. Battle First Aid Responder Services. And then it should pull up current events by me by here. Um, here that I have currently posted so Sorry. thank you do it thank you do I have currently posted for uh, battle first aid responder services so uh, very happy to be here with you guys again all right so um, these are pretty much you can follow me here too uh, as well as uh, all the other uh, first aid events too and then you can also, if you can't find me through Battle First Aid Responding Services, you can also type in my other name too, Laqueen Battle, and it should populate too as well. But anyway, let's just go back here to um, event page. You can go right here to Facebook events, and you can follow all my other most current up, current updated events. Today is the follow-up on public safety issues with the Boston Marathon. I'm having another meeting about this on Friday. On Friday. And then you will go to upcoming events today. They're also having an MBTA public meeting about a mobility a securement system with the MBTA. And there are also um, a couple other events too. I'm having another meeting on Friday at 12, uh, talking about again more public safety issues and police present at the Boston Marathon. And then Monday, COVID test, again, some other meetings with the MBTA about the green line and continuing more events for the month of october so again i want to thank you guys for your your assistance and provision for helping me continuing to support battle first aid responding services so let's get into it again you can follow me on all my social media feeds and handles i want to go ahead and, and briefly let's go to my twitter page and then we'll follow my twitter feed as well as a couple of pictures that i took during i didn't get a chance to take a lot of pictures but everything that I pretty much followed up with, I followed um, up with um, with uh, the uh, city of Boston, as well as with um, Governor Charlie Baker. So again, I want to thank um, the city of Boston. I want to thank the city of Boston. Um, I want to thank um, Mayor Kim Janey, who was also there at the, at the marathon. I want to thank um, Governor Charlie Baker. I want to thank Governor Charlie Baker, too. And I think Andrew Cuomo, I'm not sure if Andrew Cuomo was there or not, if he attended, but, um, but I want to thank him, too. So there were a couple other people that also attended too. So I want to go ahead and give a shout out to them as well. And then I will pre preferably will be uh, sending out this uh, message uh, to um, 
to I'm not supposed to give out that that feed um to um a couple of other people letting them know um how uh the um how the um the Boston Marathon went for me. Again, I didn't have a chance to volunteer in time, but I was able to provide the um the uh front uh the the administrators there um at the marathon and let them know that hey i do first aid and i'm very happy to be here ha happy to be here with you guys and it was just a, it was just an honor and pleasure to actually be there at the marathon so um i know it's a very big event and i'm again I'm, like i said before i'm very happy to have um been there and able to provide services so uh bear with me guys okay so anyway let's go to go ahead and um um and uh, I just pretty much um, updated a couple of some. You can also follow me here on my Twitter feed. My Twitter feed handle is Battle First Aid Responder Services, and my hashtag is Laqueen Battle. And then here you can check right here briefly. Just follow me again on my Twitter feed. On my Twitter feed, you can also follow me there too as well. Feed and my Twitter handle is. Um, My Twitter handle is Laqueen Battle. Okay, so there were a couple agencies there. There was MIMA, which was the um, Massachusetts um, Emergency Management System that um, that did provide assistance. So I want to thank MIMA as too as well. Um, I want to thank um, thank you to um, MIMA. Um, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to. Um, to Mass State Police, I want to give a shout out to Mass State Police. I want to give a shout out to uh, Boston State Police too, as well. Boston's uh, Boston uh, Boston Police uh, BPD, and there are a lot of other officials there, as well as to the National Guard. The National Guard was there too. So I want to thank you to uh, the uh, Mass S the the um, National Guard, which the National Guard was there too as well. So thank you to the National Guard for helping out. So Mimo was one of the big facilitators there as well. Um, just follow me on my Twitter feed. I'm gonna go ahead and go over some quick stuff and I'll show you the pictures. Again, this is one of the main, one of the main pictures I took um, about the event. Um, like I said, they had over about maybe. God, I think it was maybe close to about 5,000 runners. So um, maybe about more or less uh, 5,000, give or take more or less um, uh, runners that participated uh, in the event. So this is a starting line. I, I did my services. Um, I went to uh, Southboro, so that's why I did a lot of my events too. Um, and so uh, you can follow, this is probably the end of the day in downtown and Coffee Square, which is where a lot of the public went to, which I did. And then um, this is pretty, pretty much the end of the event here is where I went to. This was in Southboro um, at the state park. Again, this had been maybe about 2,000 runners here at the state park here in Southboro, Massachusetts. Um, they had everything set up. Uh, everybody was pretty much dressed in uniform and bibs. People were set up happy. And this was the start, start course of the starting line for the marathon, about a good 25 miles from here from this starting point to, um, which, which was what they said, um, a good 28 30 miles from that starting point to downtown Boston which I don't think I don't think this is pretty much right but this was in um, the state park um, in Southboro so um, it look it I mean from this starting point to downtown Boston maybe about maybe a good 50 60 miles I'm not really sure but this is probably which was another course of the marathon they had to they had about a 10 o'clock starting time and 11 o'clock starting time so a nine ten uh, different starting times for the event. So it was pretty good. It was a, ni a nice good event um, that um, 
that I went to. The um the event was in Hop Hopkinton State Park. Okay, and you can also follow my Twitter handle on that same day, October the 11th, um, at Hopkinton State Park. So again, I want to thank Mass State Police as well as the Mass Massachusetts Department of Transportation and the MBTA for allowing to help out during that event. So I'm going to go ahead and go over this quick, quick um, map of the start of the event. Um, if I can just put, show you guys um, how to briefly enlarge this event. Okay, so I don't think I can enlarge it. Okay. So anyway, so here was the start of the event in Hopkinton. The start the start line was in Hopkinton Square Park. I don't think this is a really good a really good explanation of it. Let me go to here to to their website. You can also follow the Boston Marathon website, VA.org. And then um, you can also follow them too as well. Okay, so I'm going to go to their official website, baa.org, and um, I'm going to go to go just type in map of the event. Um, they did have road, road closures and the course information too as well. So if you go to course information here, uh, there are their sponsors and advertisers for the event. Okay, this is a really, okay, so here is a great, great explanation. So just follow me on the follow on their official website at BAA.org. Now, Boston Police was published, uh, posted, it wasn't just, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so Boston, so Massachusetts State Police, as well as the Emergency Management System, they had about a good twelve trucks. They had a good about a good twelve or thirteen trucks, uh, buses that came from downtown Boston, about from downtown Boston to Kenmore, Boston, Kenmore Square to Boston, because it wasn't Kenmore Square; it was actually off of Boston Avenue. So the finish line was off of Boston Avenue. That's where they took off with the buses. And then the buses drove, drove from downtown Boston all the way to Hopkinton State Park. Okay, so the start of the, this is the whole entire course. Now they had about, they had a good amount of state troopers there, military guardsmen, military medics, um, all throughout this whole entire course. So the course is about a good 45K kilometers. Okay. They had military posted all throughout. Started in Hopkinton. I, I started in Hopkinton. Then I went to this Ashland, Framingham, uh, Lake Kuhataki, Natick, Woodland, um, Newton, Coolidge Corner, and then it ended up in Boston Avenue. So it was it was really good good for them to have uh, this this uh, military posted. So. Uh, that was really good. So the Boston police was um, so Boston police was posted within the uh, vicinities of the city limits. So Boston police was posted within the vicinities of the city limits. Beyond that was um, was Mass State Troopers. And also, um, National Guard and National Guard. I mean, like seriously, they had National Guard. They had um, MPs there. They had MPs. They had military police. They had military police. They also had 
um, they had military police. They also had the Marines were there too. They also had National Guard. The National Guard was there in Hockington. So uh, the National Guard was there. Um, the Guard was there posted in Hockington. Hockington by the State Park. <laughs> by the State Park in Hockington State Park. And what I did was what I did was I sent out a letter and email to Mayor letting her know we please send out additional um, management, additional security to um, Hopkinton State Park. So if you go right here, if you go to Boston 311, okay, right here, if you go to Boston 311, okay, I have a, the NBTA meeting next, okay. And you just go right here to, this is, let me go here to Mondays. Let me see if I go here to, um, let me just type in, go to Boston Marathon and type in Boston Marathon. Search, it should pull up. And the Boston 3 on one app is also available too here. Uh, so they needed, um, they needed need a cleanup as well as, uh, let me see here. Clean up, clean up, trash. Um, So I also posted um, Boston Marathon. I was pretty much letting them letting them know if you just check my Boston Marathon here, um, please service uh, the uh, Athletes Village off of Boston Marathon. That was Sunday. And if you also go to uh, MBTA CSA, you can also find me there on MBTA CSA too as well. Um, This is crazy. It wasn't me to install it. I don't have to install it. <sighs> so you can also go to CC2 on our website as well. Um... To also, you can also check me out on, on CSA. But pretty much, this is, uh, you can also find me, find my reports. Uh, CSA app too as well. Okay. So anyway, here is the start of the finish line. Like I said, I was there. I arrived. I went to the Hockington uh, Square Park here. Uh, I also, I, um, I, I went to... Uh, to the start of the event at Hopkinton uh, State Park around I think I arrived pretty much around like 930 with a friend and uh, we arrived in Hopkinton State Park then we had a walk a mile up to the start of the course event okay so Hop here's Hopkinton State Park then there was an additional you had, you had, it was a walk of an additional two mile walk to the course site. Uh, to, <laughs> to find a runner's post-it. Now here are some pictures that I do have here of the event. So here was in Copley, where everybody else was in Copley. 
Here's a map where you can find it. Okay. It's not really okay. So here was the end of the event. Now here's in Copley Square. In Copley Square, if you see these pictures, like I said before, they had Boston Police post um, in Copley Square. Okay, so they had they had Boston Police was posted on the outside of Copley Square. Okay, so. Let me try to explain this to you guys. Okay. So, both the police was posted on the outside. They had uh, the city also had um, Copley MBTA bus station closed down for uh, security reasons. <laughs> so they had they had uh, the city, Boston police was posted within the vicinities of the event, but outside of the event was Mass State Police. Now, let me show you guys if I have any pictures from my Facebook. Um, let me show you guys if I have any pictures, any photos from the event. Let me see. If you go here to Battle First Aid Responder Services... And then you go to uh, photos. Let me see if I have any photos from the event that I shared on my social media platform. Let me see. I don't think so. Okay, so I really didn't have a lot of photos. I just pretty much shared my resume. Okay, let me go here to my main Facebook page. Okay, so I do have, I didn't have a lot of photos, but, okay, so here here I was doing first aid services. I, you know, pretty much had out lotion, let people know, hey, I'm available for first aid. I really did, because you couldn't, they did not allow backpacks into the event. Okay, now here it was, the runners, and then here is an additional guardsman right here. This was additional, this was an MP here too, as well as um, uh, security for the event. Okay, so here was just one of the security personnel. It wasn't any military. Um, here was one of the guardsmen. Now, this was uh, right here on the right side. On the right side of the photo, you see it was a, um, a mass state. He was a uniformed officer. This is a uniformed officer. You see the um, the photo I'm trying to. Um, if you see, see, I'm trying to enlarge the photo right here on the right side. Um, if you see, it's kind of like up and down. There is a personnel for the event. And then here I was, first aid for the event too as well. So, uh, this was just um, one of the events. Okay. Of course, there were uniform security all over there. Here's another um, event official too. Okay, there I was just kind of lotion to see if the, the athletes needed, and I'm sure they needed just some lotion of some kind of treatment or therapy. 
they had Mass State Trippers here all throughout lined up. Now, I really did And then here, here was leaving from Hopkinton State Park. And then all throughout, this is the walk. Okay, so the, the next photo. The next photo is um, they had a mandatory drop off point to the event. It was horrible. It was, this is, this was just horrible. It was horrible. So the runners, the runners and, and, and family crews, family supporters, whatever, who, whoever, whoever came to support them had to, they had to get off at this mandatory drop off point at, at the entrance to, to Hopkinton State Park. And then walk. It was like at least like a two or three mile walk to the entrance of the starting point for the uh, marathon course. So here was another issue because it wasn't like over oh, oh you guys are available for you get off the event was at Hopkinton State Park. The event course was not at Hopkinton State Park at all. It was not even located near Hopkinton State Park. In fact, the event was located two miles up. Okay, two miles up. So the runners, whoever came to the event, they're already tired and sore, had a drop off point, okay? They had to get off there and walk two, three miles up this course to get to the runners event for the 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock starting time. Okay, so this is runners, they had a, like, a, a, like a nine o'clock starting time. They had a nine o'clock starting time or whatever their starting time was. Okay, they either had like a nine o'clock or a ten o'clock starting time or something like that. Uh, whatever, um, whatever it was, they had to. What it was a, a ten o'clock or eleven o'clock start, whatever it was, they had to walk up two blocks up. Okay, in order to get to this event. Okay, to this event, they had a walk, to walk three miles up just to get to this event, and it was horrible. It was horrible. Okay, so the family, friends, supporters, as well as runners, walk an additional two, three miles up, all the way up past the state park grounds. There was no, just a couple of police officers here walk all the course up, course walk up just to get to the event. Horrible. That was another issue. It was horrible. Horrible. It was horrible. Horrible. But no guardsmen or anybody or enough golf courts or anything to transport these runners all the way three miles up to the starting course. They literally had to get off and walk. So there were no golf carts or anything. No golf carts. No uh no secure no event security or anything to transport I mean like to transport their runners from the state park to the starting course 
and that was not because this is a state park and easily they could have easily had issues they could have been issues with um, cell phone service there could have been issues with cell phone service there could have been issues with um, there could have been issues with wild animals or it could have been issues with with weather weather related I mean there could have been so many other issues at the state park on top of that on top of that but again you know that was just that's just one issue that happened and you can see this this just one car was transmitted back but this was a local car this car right here that you see that is driving that is driving the car this this car that is that is driving is lives within the neighborhood and had permission so that was just one issue that I saw at the marathon there is me again okay so here is the starting line here was at Hopkinton State Park okay well here's just one one here's just okay so here is happy to how like I said before okay so here's just one course of the event let's go here we go so here's the main course Hakuta State Park right here exit 21 21b and then it had a walk additional two three miles up to this street right here which is Grove they had a walk from the state park to Grove Street. I think it was like two or three miles from where the event occurred, from the event started at. Okay, so and, and that, that's the security issue on all the runners. That's an additional security because there was no security or any troops were there at all. Okay, no security. No security at all. It was horrible. So you imagine that, okay? That was just one that was just one security issue. And and, and I mean no buses to transport these people. There were no bus no bus transport. Or anything so that was just one issue okay so like I said before um, I, today it is um, um, okay so 11 o'clock okay so so anyway today that's just one security issue Okay, so here is just one issue that I found, okay? But again, they had state troopers lined up. There was another issue where where um, the event was here, and the closest airport to this event is Boston Logan Airport. The closest um, air, airport is um, at Boston Logan Airport. Boston Logan Airport, they had no event personnel to, ass to assist or greet people at the event. Um, they had no, uh, no event management. From, uh, the, uh, from, uh, from Boston Marathon. Are the uh, Boston Athletic Association to greet people for the marathon event as well? Okay, as well. So Boston Logan Airport was another issue. You have uh, all these cities. You have Hopkinton, Ashland, Framingham, 
you have Newton, and then you have all these schools, and nobody, no one from bought from the bus from the airport, Boston Logan Airport had or from a Boston Athletic Association was able to have send some people to the airport to greet people coming to the marathon. That was another issue that I had. That was another issue that I had too as well. Okay, so that was another issue. If you go to the Boston Logan website, um, Boston Logan Airport, you know, uh, Boston Logan, I'm just gonna go right here to, uh, you go to Boston Logan Airport, Massport didn't even give anything, any kind of informational presentation on the marathon. Uh, Massport didn't have anything about no um, no special uh, postings about the marathon or anything. I'm going here to, to Boston Logan Airport. And then, and then Boston Logan Airport here, 13th, here, 13th, nothing at all. Boston Logan Airport had no advertisements about the marathon, okay? Boston Logan Airport did not have any anybody from the Boston Athletic Association. The airport did not have anybody there to assist with over 5,000 people coming in from all the all across the world as well as from different parts of the united states come here to the city of boston for the marathon so the airport didn't have any advertisements or anything at all to let people know about the about the marathon which is another issue nothing at all i mean nothing massport anything nothing nothing at all nothing over here at massport.com, nothing. All the attention, all travels. Okay, here's an announcement right here. Okay, according all international and domestic travels are required wear face coverings. But Boston Logan Airport didn't advertise anything. Nothing. And how is how were people able to get in and out of the city of Boston through the airport? The airport is the only way to get in. It's the airport. What happened with Boston Logan Airport and why did they not make any advertisements about the 2021 Boston Marathon? That could have been an additional millions of dollars in revenue for the airport, which they so badly need right now during COVID. The airport. The airport. The airport. The airport. The airport is the only way for people to get safely in and out of the city.
the airport. through the airport. Okay. So again, um, there's some other issues too. I've got it. I've got to email Boston Lowly airport airport about, uh, they, like I said before, they did not make any announcements or advertisements or anything to safely secure visitors coming into the city for the marathon Boston Logan Airport tens of thousands of people came into the city and the airport didn't do a, a damn thing a, excuse me a single thing no event management from the Boston Athletic Association airport to the event on the top of that there was barely any security and park enforcement at the airport I went on Saturday evening I went to the airport and I asked the parking attendant and a parking attendant at the airport told me that he needed at least 10 additional people to help him with parking security enforcement just for the visitors coming into the city The airport didn't do much. Massport, as well as a whole entire Massport committee, did not do enough to safely secure all these international and domestic visitors into the city of Boston for the marathon. And on top of that, there are still visitors here in the city of Boston that have not left the city of Boston and are still here for the event. As of Thursday, October the 14th, there are still visitors here in the city of Boston. And still, as you know, this is Massport.com's website, updated October the 14th, 2021. The airport still has no additional mention and no additional advertisements saying anything about the marathon. All those thousands and thousands and thousands of visitors that came into the city and the airport didn't have no kind of a communication with the Marathon Association, no kind of, of transport, nothing enforced to properly secure the athletes as well as their families back and forth to the event. So they left private firms, private businesses, and private security administrators, administrators to privately secure these families and athletes from the airport and to the event site. Private companies and private businesses had to take care of the mess that the city and also the airport didn't manage to do. It was private businesses, it was private security, and it was private medical people that had to do the business that the city, like I said before, that the city and the corporations did not do. It was and local vo citizen volunteers, as myself. Did 
I mean, they barely had COVID testing on site. And this is the only thing that the Airbrook has advertised on their website. Okay, let's go here to Boston Logan Airport. Let's just Google it. Boston Logan Airport and the uh, Boston Marathon. Okay, they oh they lost a, launched a special promotion to coincide with uh, oh selling oh you get a, a discount oh rental car shortage I'm not talking about rental cars this has nothing to do with rental cars this has nothing to do with the discount on food okay this has nothing to do with rental cars and this has nothing to do with a discount on food this is about public security and public safety. Especially when you have over thousands and thousands of people coming safely into the city of Boston just for one event. This is not about food and it's not about rental cars. It has nothing to do with rental cars. Nothing, absolutely, absolutely not. This has nothing to do with winter cars, and it has nothing to do with a food discount. Nothing at all. Talking about Marketplace Logan launches special promotion to coincide with the marathon. Like concessions is great, but I mean concessions is not public safety. That's a great thing, but we need more than just food concessions to help with thousands and thousands of people come into a major international city. And rental car shortage is not even it. The people that are coming into the city for the Boston Marathon are traveling from other countries around the world. So you know what? They will not have an American driver's license. The people that are coming in to run this event will not have a Massachusetts driver's license and they will not have an American driver's license. These people, they will not have a driver's license. They need to rely on Ubers and Lyfts and public transportation. They have they need to rely on Ubers, Lyfts, taxis, whatever it is, and then as well as public transportation. Buses, uh subways, whatever it is to get these people to downtown Boston. And you cannot get to downtown Boston to the Copley, Copley Square with a car. A car will not fully transfer. You need to get on a train. You need to get on a bus to transfer you from downtown Boston Logan Airport to Copley Square and to your hotel. With you and your suitcase. You would not put thousands and thousands of dollars in a rental car 
and rent that rental car at the airport to transport you and that rental car to downtown Boston to stay in it to stay in a luxury four or five star hotel for only two days. It's not going to work like that. Like I said before, these tourists and visitors do not have American driver's license. They need to rely on public transportation, taxis, Ubers, and Lyfts. And of course, yes, terrorism is a big issue, which is here by the MBTA, and I'm glad the MBTA had offered assistance for that as well. Of course, very, very thankful for the MBTA, but of course, the MBTA also had other issues too. Okay, so that's just that's just what I'm going to leave at today. Okay, there are some other issues, but I'm, I want to give a thank you to the Mass Massachusetts National Guard, the Mass State Police, Boston Police Department, Mayor Kim Janey, Governor Charlie Baker, and all of the event personnel that participated in the 2021 Boston Marathon. Again, Massport. And the masses and the Boston Logan Airport has other issues to address, as well as the NBTA has other issues to address as well. But thankfully, that these thousands and thousands and thousands of visitors that came into the city of Boston in a safe way in a safe manner. That there were other issues with the city as well as a homeless community like myself. Okay. They were also involved in the party event as well as other issues. Of course, you had kids and families there as well as sex, sex workers were there, panhandlers were there. Everybody else was a part of the event too as well because that just happens when you have a, a multi-million dollar tourist attraction and event. Everything comes becomes a part of it. Money becomes a part of it, and everything attaches to money. Everything attaches to money when you have an international event. Everything attaches to money. It can be good money, and it can be bad money. But everything attaches to money when you have an event that's once a year that's coming into a major international tourist city like the city of Boston. The airport number one should have been on top of their game, but Boston Logan Airport was not. As well as the Boston Athletic Association to make sure that they properly secured their athletes from each and every single site. The starting point of the site and properly transferred them to the to the proper site as well as if they were going to get dropped off at the state park, they should have had buses or security enforcement to make sure additional security enforcement in place to make sure if families were being dropped off at the state park, they could easily have a transport or security personnel to safely secure them down to the site to see their family members and their athletes run the event. But of course, that was not so, which would happen at Hopkinton State Park. And on top of that, other measures like cell phone service, like water stands, like I like medical medical people, medical personnel within the bars of the event to hydrate the people, hydrate the athletes at the end of the race as well. Okay, so that is just what I'm going to leave at today. As well as with the MBTA's slogan, if you see something, say something. 
Here's the number for MBT Transit Police, 617-222-1212. Or you can call 911 and it will properly say, I want to speak to Mass Boston MBTA Police. And the 911 dispatcher will transport you to the bus police. If you see something, say something. Whether you're at the airport, whether you're at a state park, whether you're on, at the library, whether you're in downtown, whether you're at Starbucks, whether you're at the mall, whether you're in Framingham, whether you're in, whether you're in any kind of city, if you see something, say something. Because terrorism is real. And it's happened before, and of course, it will happen again. As well as child predators. Like I said before, anytime you have an event like this, you have good money and you have bad money, but anything attaches to an event like this. Just like it says before, if you see something, say something. Okay? All right, so this is Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. Thank you to MBTA. Thank you to Boston Logan Airport, Mayor Kim Janey, Governor Charlie Baker, um, as well as Massey Police, the National Guard, the Marines, and everybody that was a part of the 2021 Boston Logan Marathon event. Okay? You guys have a good one, and I have another event to attend to, okay? You take care, and please follow me on my next, uh, follow me this, fr this Friday for part two of this event as well okay guys all right you guys take care this is queen battle battle first aid responder services god bless you and your family and happy holidays